I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of a little quick demonstration for you on a few different club swinging exercises. Clubs come in a variety of different sizes. These are one pound clubs and obviously good for beginners, women, or children. These are two pound clubs. They get a little larger. And these are good for teaching adults or anyone who wants to learn the basics of club swinging. Two pound are a fine size. These clubs are from Persia and weigh about 20 pounds each. And these clubs are used in a different manner than the light clubs and have a different range of motion and different forms of exercise and build, are usually used for building strength. And these were used by martial artists or warriors of years a day, uh, years ago, to develop their strength for swinging a sword or a mace. Wrestlers in India used these for thousands of years for developing their skills and strength. This pair of clubs, 10 pounds. It's a good size for adult males just to learn the basic movements of Indian or Persian club swinging. With the two pound clubs right now, I'm going to show you a number of different exercises that I developed to help boxers and martial artists. I don't believe that anybody else has this curriculum. I haven't seen it anywhere else, and I've studied with people from India, Nepal, and Persia, Iran. The clubs are held lightly in the hand. We first learn the five basic exercises. One, two, three, four, five. Then we learn the flow. This can be done in a number of different ways. And there's a number of different exercises you can do this way. They can be used inward, this way. It is pulling the clubs from the outside to the inside of the body, or they can be pushed outward. All, again, used in martial arts or comes from a martial or a militia type concept. If you look at the love club pushed this way, it's the same as a man blocking and striking or a man using a sword. Obviously this carries over to any form of sport, whether it be volleyball, basketball, uh, it can be any sport there is, because we're utilizing the rotocuff. These particular club exercises help loosen, strengthen, and increase the flexibility of the rotocuff. And I can't think of an athlete off the top of my head that I haven't spoken to who hasn't had an injury in the rotocuff from one, at one time or another. Now, for specific martial arts usage, anybody who's gonna do any form of martial art needs to learn the guard position, that is, how to protect their face and their head, and then, of course, how to deliver punches. But you first have to learn a defensive posture. The defensive posture is with your hands up by your face, either touching your eyebrows, your cheeks, there's different schools of thought on this, but basically, if you hold the clubs in this position and move them, you're gonna be learning that. Second, people parry or move with their shoulder to block punches. All this can be taught with the clubs. I'll show you in just a moment. Next is striking. This can also be taught with the clubs. Elbows can be taught with the clubs. Uppercuts, whether they're shovel hooks or uppercuts, it can all be taught with the clubs. On guard position or protecting the head with the clubs, this teaches whether you be in the military or a fighter, how to position your hands to protect, I call it the computer, your head with the clubs. Punching, whether you're punching with your knuckles straight forward or you're punching straight, this can all be taught and the muscles can be trained with the clubs. Uppercuts, with the clubs, Hooks, hooks to the head with the clubs. 
elbows, turning the hand over, protecting the head, as in Muay Thai. In fact, this is probably one of the best ways to teach someone how to turn their hand over and hold their hand in the correct position for elbow strikes. Granted, it doesn't always have to be a high elbow. It can be low, upper, this, straight forward. But the biggest, most important thing is, whenever we manipulate the clubs, it goes ahead and exercises our shoulder girdle and teaches us to roll our shoulders, which we use when we punch. Many people will punch with their hands straight, but if you'll notice my chin isn't protected, I'll do the same punch at the same level and roll my shoulder, and you'll see how it protects my, my rolling my shoulder and learning this movement, which the clubs can do. You learn to protect your shoulder faster. The clubs are it's added resistance, but what they also do is they train all the stabilizers, they help your core. One of the exercises that I enjoy or teach to all my students is opening up and closing, of course, as I had just said, with breathing. But another thing that I incorporate into it is the rolling of the shoulders. So when I have them do the breathing exercise, I can lean over, put their the backs of their hands together, and lean their body over. What this facilitates or does is teach people to roll that shoulder. So if a boxer is going to hold his hands like this and has a bad habit of keeping their body open, what I'll teach them is roll their shoulders. Now all that just all that space in here just disappeared. So here's a regular stance. Here's the same stance by rolling the shoulders or touching the palms, excuse me, the backs of the hands together, facing the palms out, bringing the hands up. Now it protects the body. Because this is a very important, crucial part in all forms of sports or athletics is that shoulder, not just for rehab, but for prehab. We want to prevent the injury, so therefore we want to train all the parts of the shoulder girdle before somebody gets involved in sport. So even in the back, when you're moving the clubs, it helps pull your arms back, extend your arms, and gives you these full range of motion. You can obviously move your hands up, down, right, left on this plane, a forward plane. There's a number of different ways you can exercise them. But these basic exercises are things that I've developed for teaching basic punching, exercise drills, or protection, body core, how to roll the body or turtle position, rolling the shoulders a shell to protect you and to protect your head when delivering punches or strikes. So I hope that's informative.